So today we are going to take a look at Kira Ryosuke in the football manga Blue Lock and the possibilities of his return. Kira, also known as Japan's National Treasure, is a very skilled player who appears in Chapter 1. Kira is shown playing against Yuichi Izagi, who is the main character of the manga. After Izagi's mate didn't succeed to equalize, Kira started a counter-attack and scored the second goal of the game, leading his team to victory. Like Izagi, Kira got an invitation to the project Blue Lock and meets Izagi before entering the project. Kira is showing his great skill of socializing by recognizing and talking to Izagi. He tells Izagi that he remembers him because of his impressive field perspective and high football IQ. This analysis of Kira about Izagi already shows us that Kira is a pretty smart guy who must have some decent football skills by already recognizing Izagi's biggest weapon and potential before Izagi started to develop his skills after entering Blue Lock. So after entering Blue Lock, Kira instantly got into an argument with Igo and disagrees with Igo's perspectives of football. Kira states that his team or teamwork in general is the most important thing in football and that he won't throw away his team. Because of Izagi's betrayal, Kira also became the first person to leave Blue Lock by failing the first challenge. Many fans are wondering now if Kira is ever going to return in the manga. In my opinion there are three different possibilities of how Kira's story could go in the manga. The first one is no return. Of course there could be the possibility that Kira won't return at all. Kira could be used as a character in the manga to show the readers that Blue Lock is a project where only people with big egos can survive no matter how skilled you are. For example, Isagi was ready to betray his friend, which was a trait that Kira lacked. Second possibility, return in Team Wildcard. In Chapter 94 of the manga, we can see a desperate Kunigami after losing his final match, which means that he would have to leave Blue Lock. While leaving the building, Kunigami was suddenly confronted with another entrance. An entrance known as the Wildcard, which symbolizes a loser's qualifier. Kira could have chosen to enter the Wildcard as well, which could lead to a possible Team Wildcard vs Team Blue Lock match in the future, where the Team Blue Lock members have to defend their spots in the team, while the Wildcard members got the chance to earn a spot in Blue Lock. I can definitely imagine Kira and Kunigami being the leaders of Team Wildcard. Third possibility is the return of Kira in the World Cup 2022. Kira could end up as the ultimate villain of the manga who became full of hatred, seeking for revenge. After Kira left Blue Lock, he could have decided to leave Japan and make a name for himself in another country. For example, there could be a time skip where Team Japan with Izagi enter the World Cup in 2022 and make their way to the final where they will face Kira and his team. Kira could have taken his citizenship and changed his nationality so he can fulfill his ultimate goal of paying everything back to Izagi by beating him in the World Cup final. So what do you think? Which theory do you like the most? Are we ever going to see Kira in the future of the manga? Let me know in the comments below. Also don't forget to subscribe for more Blue Air content in the future. And as always, have a nice day. Until then.